Thank you for purchasing a Brother product. The following tutorial will guide you through the initial setup of your Brother machine. The model we are using may look slightly different or have different features than the model you purchased. However, the process of setup will be the same. Let's get started. Remove the machine from the box. Set aside the accessories such as the CDs and user's guides. Now remove all the protective tape and packing from the machine. Remove the paper tray and remove the plastic package containing the ink cartridges on top of the tray. If your model has this item, the CD disc tray, remove it from the box and place it into the storage location under the scanner cover on the right hand side. Plug the Brother Machine directly into a power outlet. Then the Brother Machine's LCD screen will read, No Ink Cartridge. Open the ink cartridge cover on the right side of the machine. Remove the orange protective part from inside. You may want to keep this for later in case you need to transport the machine. Unpack the black cartridge. Turn the green release lever clockwise until it clicks. Remove the orange and green cover. You can discard this. Install the black ink cartridge in the black color-coded slot until it clicks into place. Then install the remaining three cartridges in the order indicated on the LCD screen. If the machine's LCD screen reads cannot detect after you install the ink cartridges, remove the cartridge and reinstall it slowly. After closing the ink cartridge cover, the machine will take approximately four minutes to prepare the ink system for printing. Do not turn off the machine during this process. Now that the LCD screen reads set paper and press start, remove the paper tray. Open the paper tray cover. We need to adjust the length guide at the bottom by squeezing it. Move it to the position for the paper size that you'll be using. Next, fan the stack of paper that you'll be using. Ensure the paper is not wrinkled or curled and insert it into the Brother Mach paper tray. Adjust the width guide by squeezing it to the paper size you're using. Close the paper cover, then reinstall the paper tray into the Brother Machine. Next, press the Start button. The machine will print a print quality check sheet. The LCD will ask, is quality OK, yes or no? Look at the black, yellow, cyan, and magenta blocks on the sheet. If all the short lines in each color block are clear and visible, press yes on the LCD screen. If any of the short lines in the color blocks are missing, press no and then follow the on-screen instructions. Now let's program the date and time. Press menu. Next press the down arrow to select initial setup. Then select date and time. First, input the last two digits for the year. Press OK. Enter the month. Press OK. Then enter the day. Press OK. Next, you will receive the option of selecting the type of clock, 24-hour clock or 12-hour clock. I'm going to choose 12-hour clock. With this option, you must select AM or PM, indicated here. Then press OK. 
The date and time is now set. If you are using your machine for sending and receiving faxes, we will next connect the telephone line and set up the station ID. However, if you are not using this product for sending or receiving faxes, you may end this portion of the tutorial and continue to the software setup. If you're going to use your machine for sending and receiving faxes, you'll need to connect the telephone line cord. First, connect the telephone line cord to your wall telephone outlet. Then, turn the machine to the left side. On the left side, there are two ports. Connect the telephone line cord to the port labeled line. Next, let's program the machine's station ID so your name and fax number will be printed at the top of every fax that you send. Press, press menu, then press the down arrow to select initial setup, then select station ID. Enter your fax number. Then press OK. Next, we need to enter your name. To enter the name, press the button with the letter that you need. For example, the JKL button. If I press it one time, I get a J. Two times, I get a K. Or three times, an L. If you make a mistake, press the back button to erase the letter. For special characters, press this button which will allow you to enter numbers. Press it again to enter characters, and again to go back to alphabet. If your machine does not have a touchscreen LCD, you can also use the keys on the keypad. Let's enter the name John now. Then press OK. The station ID is now set. Now you are finished with the initial setup of your machine. Continue with the other tutorials to set up your software or to set up the fax functions of your machine. And thanks again for purchasing a Brother product.